the energy is like crazy. Now the thing about Sam for Men is that everybody is wearing the typical Sam for Men costume. So they're all wearing white pants, white shirt, red sash, and a red belt, like a red belt, and then the red handkerchief. So everybody's wearing the same thing. It doesn't matter who you are. Because when you show up, you go, eh, I don't really want to spend money on clothes to wear the outfits. And then you find out that you can buy the white pants, the white shirt, whether it be a t-shirt or button-down shirt or whatever, the red sash and the red handkerchief, you can buy them all at the store for like 11 years. Oh, they have a little pack. They have, oh, they have tons, and they're everywhere. So everybody's wearing them. Like, literally everybody. If you've ever been to, like, a Renaissance fair, and even, like, ah, I don't want to dress up, and you get there, and everyone's dressed up, and you're like, oh, shit. So it's fantastic. We get there. Everyone's all stoked. We're all in the middle. Um, and I had teamed up, teamed up with this guy named Lee. And this guy says, he's walking next to us. He's like, oh, hey, you running? I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, is this your first time? Yeah. Mine, too. Do you want to, like, like partner up? I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Came, together. Right. Well, that's what I was saying. And eventually, there was these, there were the uh, other Australians that like came over and started asking us questions. And I had been, I, I couldn't sleep, so I stayed up all night reading about this. Right? So I knew a ton about it, but like keyboard jockey style, right? So people were asking questions, and I was just rattling off what I knew. And eventually, we ended up with this big group of people that were like listening to me talk. <laughs> about this and, and like yeah and I literally so we're in the square and I'm telling all these stories and I had to like I had to stop every three minutes of, of what I was saying to be like but keep in mind I've never done this so I don't know you know like I really don't and then this guy goes alright good well you know we'll stick with you and that was the, kind of the end and I was like you know what guys honestly it might not be a good idea to get a bunch of beginners together in the run <laughs> and literally everybody was like great idea <laughs> and I was just left standing with this guy Lee and there were these Spanish kids and they're all I don't know I, I think they said they were 21 and he's and, he, and this, this kid he's pale and he's wearing this pale outfit and he's he's basically a ghost and he's smoking too long. and he's standing with his two quiet other 21 year old friends and they and they were like, hey, uh, are you running? And I was like, yeah, is this your first time, yeah? And they're obviously drunk. They're obviously stoned. And the thing that they tell you is they say, the first thing to know when you run with the bulls is that you do not, because parties go on all night. They, they light fireworks works off at 11, and then you party all night. Do not run with the bulls after party night. Just don't do it. After, what? after partying all night. That's how people get gored. Like like seventy percent of the people that have been gored in the last hundred years were the ones that stayed up all night. You know? And that's that's why I was like, okay, cool, you know, no big deal. But they're staying there and they're obviously drunk, they've obviously been up all night, they're obviously stoned, and they were like, Is your first time? Be careful. Be careful, be careful, be careful. We'll tell you how to do it. And it was like a Stephen King story, right? These kids appeared, and then they just gave us all of this advice. And they asked, they answered all of our questions. They, like, clearly, concisely gave us tons of information. And then they were like, be careful, be careful, be careful. And he goes, so, what happens is they light off four fireworks. The first firework is when the bulls, when they open the corral. The second fireworks is when all the bulls leave the corral and they're running. The third firework is when all the bulls are in the ring, because you they run up the street, they run around the corner, they run down the street, they run around the corner, they run into the ring. And then the fourth um, firework is when they're all in the, the corral on the other end. So there's no danger, sort of. So he goes, what happens is we'll wait here and you all get in the middle of the kind of the middle of the ring and then the cops disappear because the cops come from one end to the other end and they push everyone in the middle and they kick everyone out because you can't like get spots, you know, you can't like hide out and camp out in spots. You have to start in the middle. So at about 10 minutes till people start to run and they run from the middle, they run from the end to get their spots on Estafeta, which is the long clear run, or an hamburger corner, which is the one where they all come around the corner, or the, the badasses run up to the front where the bulls are really like super energized and crazy and that's really the most dangerous. Um, so what they say is they say, okay, they, so these guys are like, listen, so 10 minutes before they will, people will start running, but you wait, you wait. And they run by you and you want to run by you. 
We have done this. We have done this six times. <laughs> six <laughs> years, <laughs> and we are 21. So we literally have been running every year since they were 15, right? And then we were seeing like, like little kids, like 15, 16 year old kids, like sneaking through the fences so they could run because the cops come through and they like pat you down and they take your GoPros and they kick you out and they like, yeah, because you can't have cameras while you run because people. What eventually becomes very clear when you're running is that people are the, the reason you're scared. Because bulls, um, they have this herd mentality. And the bird, bulls don't run in a gore and gore. Bulls just run. And when you're <coughs> running with them, you're not a threat. The danger is when one bull gets separated. And that happens in what's called hamburger corner when they come down and then around. And bulls are always slipping. And they slip and then they hit the wall. They crush whoever's there, which has been like 40% of the deaths or something. And then one gets, or one or two gets separated. They're called suentos or suetos. They get separated. And then they lose the herd mentality. So everything is an enemy. So now they're always out to start goring, right? And they get you under the elbow and you're done or whatever. Uh, armpit. So basically that's what the running of the bulls is. The purpose is to guide them to the ring. And that's, hooray, we all did that. But what becomes very clear very quickly is that everyone is is tripping over themselves they're tripping they're starting piles everyone's bumping into each other they're pushing and there's so many people that then it becomes just everyone's tangled up and then the bulls just run over so spines get broken and arms get broken and, it, and a, like whatever 800 kilogram animal or you know 1500 pound animal steps on you you know um, so he goes you wait you wait you wait and what we realized was that all of these people were running because they were like, we're running with the bulls. But they weren't running with bulls, they were just running because they heard the thing and they run. And then Caitlin was saying that, yeah, well, people would just run into the ring and they wouldn't have seen a bull. So the kid goes, we wait, we wait. And then at one minute before eight, eight o'clock, of course, they let out the bulls. We start to run. And he's like smoking his cigarette. And he's like, we walk and we walk and we walk. So we're waiting for this to happen, and we're geared up, and the energy is crazy, and there's big, um, there's big screens that they mount to the sides of the buildings in the square that are showing like the safety rules, and then videos of the bulls goring other people. Like, and I was like not watching it, I'm horrified. So I'm getting super stoked. So two minutes to eight, I'm like, hey, hey, do we go now? Do we? What do we do? What do we do? And he, and he looks at me and he goes. <laughs> And I told this guy, Lee, I was like, I'm a fucking cool dude. That dude is like 20 times cooler than me, and he's like 10 years younger than me. So he's like, no, we don't wait. And then he taps us on the shoulder. A minute later, he taps us on the shoulder. He's like, no, we don't wait. And we walk, and we walk. And I was just, and I was like thinking, I was like, everybody's running lights, because they're all horrified. You know, everybody's got energy, and they're freaking. And we're, and we're walking. And, and we just must look so cool. And, and up in the balconies, because you're walking through a street, and it's a tiny European street. It's wall to wall, cobblestones, brick, no escape. You know. Plus, they put up the wooden fences. There's two levels of wooden fences: two on the outside and two on the inside that are about three feet apart. And they do that because you duck under one if you're if something goes wrong, and the cops patrol to keep them out. You know. So we're walking down, and he turns to me and he goes. It's very cool, you walk and people run, but you walk and it's like uh, walking into the sunset, you know, and you're like, yeah. And then you hear the first guy. And everyone starts getting excited. And we're walking and he goes, one, two, three, four. And he's looking at his watch and he's going, mm. and this is about 60 seconds, about 60 seconds. Because we were in the main square. And we walk down through Hamburg Corner into Estafeta. Estafeta is a long one that you want to start in about the middle of. That's what everybody says. You want to start in about the middle of so the amateurs can get past and the stupid people can fall. And then you're with them, right? So you're walking and you're walking and you're walking. And now people around you start jumping. And you notice this, and they're all jumping up and down. And it's because we're walking, and we're all trying to be aware of each other and, you know, casually walk. But people are starting to jump because you, can, you can't see the bulls because there's so many people. So they're jumping to see the bulls. So it's like meerkats. 
They're all like jumping to see what's going on. A spray of blood. Yeah, yeah. And, you, and then and then you start walking, and then you start to hear the bells. And you, and you start to get excited, so more people are jumping, and more people are jumping, and then you start to jog, and then the Spanish ghosts in front of you are like, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's working, it's working. And we're walking, we're walking, and you're ding it, ding it, ding it, ding it. And then you see the people at the other end of Estefeta stop jumping. And that's when you're like, here we go, this is happening. And then everyone starts jogging and jumping, and then you feel it. And then you can feel the ground, because there's 12 giant animals pounding on these cobblestones towards you, right? And you're running, or you're, you're jogging. And then, at that point, I just put my eyes on the Spanish kid, because he had put out his cigarette, and that's when I knew things were, like, getting serious. He put out his cigarette in his hand, threw it on the ground, and then he's walking, he's looking, he's looking, he's looking, he's looking, and then he suddenly starts sprinting. So I was like, oh, we start sprinting, right? And we're sprinting, we're sprinting, we're sprinting, and you have to look, because you have to, you have to look around you for the bulls, but you have to keep your hands out for people because people are it's not that they're pushing it's that everyone wants to have a hand on who's around you know so you can all know who's running the right speed and and to encourage them to run the right speed nobody's pushing really but then you're swiveling you're swiveling and then you see the cows or you see the bulls and then you start running faster but so then what you're next to him? yeah yeah you're i'm three feet four feet away from the the bulls. Yeah, yeah. The streets wide enough that they're not smashing into people. Oh, no, they do no, no. Smash into people. Well, yeah, they <laughs> smash into people if people run in front of them. But that's the whole point: is that you run in front of them to be. Oh, I ran with the bulls, and then you run out of the way. A good run with the bulls is that you run about 10 to 15 to 20 seconds with them, alongside them. Maybe you touch them, which isn't recommended. Maybe you run in front of them, which is also not recommended. But they have famous, famous bull runners that do that, that have, have been known to, like, that every year they show up and they touch two bulls' horns while they're running backwards, while they turn around. So you get 15, 20 seconds of a good run, and then you bail out. But then, once so we're running with them, right? We're running, we're running, we're running, we're running. And then you have to look, and so I'm, I'm there's the bulls, and I'm just like, oh, like, I don't even remember if I saw them. How wide is this straight? Um, from here to, yeah, I, I would think the clear path would be from here to that wall. But you need the end of this table to, well, here to, yeah, here to the middle of that table for the bulls. Because they're not, they're just going to like yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're so in a big pack. You're running, yeah, yeah. Some people run in front. You run on either side. But the, the thing is that everybody's got to run because now at that point, everybody is running. Thousands of people around you, hundreds of people around you, are running. So now so you, you have to run. Get trampled straight away. If you stop, you die. Yeah, you get trampled. That's and that's where most of the injuries from bull running comes from. It's getting trampled. So we're looking. Like, I see the bull. bull stepping on. No, 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 no. Like people human. stepping. On. Because one bull stepping on me is a thing. 700 people stepping on me is a thing. What they'll do, so, so if, you, if you get, like if you're running close enough to the bulls that you touch them or you fall, you stay down. Or if you get pushed by a bull, you stay down because the bull will come back. But the people, they have uh, newspapers, they'll hit you on the shoulders when it's time to go up. And eventually, at the, you know, when uh, so eventually what ended up happening was I saw these people or these bulls and we're running and we're running and then I happened to look down and there were two people that had fallen and we're running flat out and we just jump we just jump over them and these people are, are huddled and their their fetus fetal like laying down and you just jump over them and then you keep running and now I'm scared it was at that point in that run that I was scared where I was like look at all it's a sea of people and they're jumping over these people because they could be killed at any second, could be trampled. Someone steps on your head, like, what How do you do? People even see the people that were curled down, if they're so tight, people are so tight. You, we, um, you have about an arm's length, you know, um, half an arm's length maybe, but everybody is looking. So you will see that group of people in front of you jumping over people. Yeah. You know, and you're looking between legs, and you're run, and you're really like my head was on a swivel, like crazy. Eventually, the bulls go by you, and you run and you run and you run and run and run, and the energy relaxes a little bit, but you're still running because you can't stop because the people behind you are running. You know, 
So we ran and we ran and we ran, and eventually we reached a stopping point at the plug of the bull ring because two bulls had fallen down. What they had slipped around the corner and landed on top of each other, and that's where the danger is. And the cops were grabbing us and throwing us under these fences because these fences are three planks high, maybe five feet high here, but with a foot and a half foot openings where they're throwing people through because that's when the bulls wake up and then they go the wrong way and then they plow into people. And anybody that knows anything is ducking under those things and as quickly as, and you're helping other people and it was like and it was a thing where I was like I was like wow I'm really out of shape I'm gonna die basically and I was under this and the cows were or the bulls were there and we're just helping people out you're just pulling people through until eventually the cops had um, they had the, the guys in green are the ones that wrangle the bulls so they're <coughs> watching the bulls to see what's happening and then the master bull runners are there with are they trying to pick up the bulls, which is a very like masculine thing to do. They're trying to pick them up in this tiny little enclosure at the door to the ring. And the door to the ring is where like like tons of fatalities occur because one person going onto the sand trips and it causes this big pile up and then twelve bulls don't have the presence of mind to go, let's stop here. They go, We're going to this pile of people. Right? So we had gotten this pile up right before them. Um, or, of these two bulls where we just ducked out, right? I, I was just like, yeah, I don't know if it's masculine or not, but I'm going to get out of this right now. And then eventually, because the cops weren't even letting us back in, and there was a guy next to us that had ruined his leg or something, and he was pretty messed up. And, and eventually I heard the third firework that meant that the, the bulls, because they were on the, the bulls that were right there, I mean, they were on the, they were right as close as those people but there were so many other runners in the way that I couldn't see what happened they were like they were there you know and they had eventually gotten up and run into the ring which is what the third um, firecracker signals so we slipped out of that and then we ran and we all ran and you run through the tunnel and you go yay and everybody cheers and it's this a great moment of camaraderie and then you get into the ring and then the ring opens up and it's like the Coliseum and, every, and, there's, and it's packed because they sell tickets to it it's all open and everybody's cheering and like 12 I, I think there's 12,500 seats everyone's just cheering and you've made it and you finally just arrived you know and what ended up happening was I ran in and I and I got there and then the people that had come in the ring after so you run in you stand there and you look at how amazing it is and basically what what I think happened was that they thought there was another bull and then there was uh, and uh, and there was a huge crowd surge and I got pushed by that huge crowd and went down and that was and it's totally inconsequential but that was when I was on the ground and I was like I'm in a bull ring filled with all of the people that did that I'm gonna get trampled and two guys like one second after I fell grabbed me one under each elbow picked me up and just and I just kept running I was like it was like a cartoon where like people get in your legs are still going and you're like ah! and then I went over to the side it was totally fully the wildest thing I've ever done Wait, what happens in the ring so the bulls are in thanks for watching for more information head on over to artoftheplayboy.com and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you